Today's enlightening entertainment will be presented in Persian with subtitles in Arabic, all axes of Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Slovenian, Spanish, and Thai. سلام بینندگان دوستار شعر مولانا در سراسر جهان به عنوان شاعر معنوی و صوفی قرن سیزدهم میلادی شناخته می شود که اشعاری غنی در مورد عشق معنوی سروده است میراث 800 ساله او گنجینه ای از خرد شاعرانه می باشد که به زبانهای بسیاری در دنیا ترجمه شده است استاد اعظم چینگ های در فرصت های متعددی از جمله در سمینار بیلومللی که در ماه اوت 2008 برگزار شد اشعار مولانا را می خوانند و در مورد آنها بحث و گفتگو می کنند escape and overrunning through the garden plants spontaneous and soaking in. I mean, he's bathing in God's love and grace and bliss. He's oblivious to whatever, the trouble of the world. Not to talk about wife of his, you know. <laughs> no matter what she says, he takes it as a training, as a practice of humility and patience. And that's how he became great. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this story. Thank you, Romy, as well, for leaving us such a treasure. A good book is hard to find already. Good poem is hard to find already. Good spiritual, nourishing and uh, morally replenishing is even harder to find. This kind of books uh, we could read all the time. It will just foster more our spiritual endeavor, foster love and humility, understanding, patience. It's a very good book, good poem. Face that lights my face, you spin intelligence into these particles I am. Your wind shivers my tree, my mouth tastes sweet with your name in it. The minute I heard my first love story, I started looking for you, not knowing how blind that was. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere, they're in each other all along. There's a strange frenzy in my head of birds flying. Each particle circulating on its own is the one I love everywhere. اشعاری را که شنیدید سه شعر از مولانا بودند که تمیر آنها را با همراهی موسیقی عمر فاروق تکبیلک موسیقیدان برجسته ترکی دکلمه نمود. تمیر هنرپیشه شاعر نمایش نام نویس و نویسنده امریکایی است. تمیر مانند افراد بسیاری در سراسر جهان شیفته اشعار معنوی مولانا است و آنها را از طریق برنامه تکخانی خود با عنوان طریق قلب اشعار شورانگیز مولانا به علاقمندان مولانا تقدیم می کند. او با صدای گرم و قنیش اشعار و داستانهای مولانا را همراه با موسیقی سنتی ایرانی می خاند. به اعتقاد تمیر تعالیم صوفیانه مولانا با استابی جهانی دارند. He belongs to all of us. He belongs to those who are seekers, those who are open to his teachings. Mm-hmm. And as to how we survived during the time from then till now, I don't know, but I can say that now he is certainly the most read poet in America. And he's had a huge resurgence, thanks to many fantastic translations. 
I really don't know why Rumi is who he is for us. Mm -hmm. Each one has their own answer. Mm. To me, he's the best poet that ever lived. مولانا جلال الدین محمد بلخی در سیوم سپتامبر سال 1207 در شهر بلخ واقع در خراسان ایران که اکنون در افغانستان است به دنیا آمد. مولانا که در جهان به رومی شهرت دارد همراه با خانوادهش که اهل کلام و حکمت بودند در نزدیکی قونیه که اکنون در ترکیه واقع است ساکن شدند. مولانا به گونه ای پرورش یافت تا به درجه یک استاد فاضل برسد وقتی فقط 25 سال داشت مولانا به جای پدرش در بزرگترین مدرسه الهیات قونیه استاد علوم دینی شد آشنایی او با یک درویش به نام شمس تبریزی در سال 1244 زندگیش را برای همیشه دگرگون ساخت شمس در اولین دیدارش با مولانا تأثیر عمیقی بر وی گذاشت و او را با طریقت عرفانی آشنا کرد در آن زمان مولانا برای آموزش شاگردانش از کتابی ارزشمند بهره می گرفت It was a book of priceless beauty It was a Persian manuscript that had absolutely no duplicate and he was discoursing from this exquisite book And along came this beggar uh, who was very rough-hewn and had no retinue and had the appearance of being a totally unlearned man and came up to Rumi and said, what are you doing? And so Rumi turns to him and says, oh, this is the knowledge of which the unlearned know nothing. And then he resumed his discoursing. It was a bit of a put-down, but... That was it. Uh-huh. Interview over. And then Shams, well, the interview wasn't over. He goes right up to Rumi, he snatches this beautiful manuscript, and he tosses it into a pool of water, because that's where Rumi was sitting with his disciples. And, of course, Rumi was absolutely flabbergasted. How, how could you do such a thing? Do you realize what you've done? You destroyed one of the most beautiful books And so Shams, without any further ado, rolled up his sleeves, pulled the manuscript out of the water, handed it back, and lo and behold, it was completely dry. There wasn't a drop of water on it. Nothing was damaged. Nothing was smudged. And of course, Rumi turns to him and says, How did you do this? Ah, Shams laughs. Yes, yes, well... This is a knowledge born of ecstasy of which the learned yeah. know nothing. And this was Rumi's first lesson on the path of real love. در راه عشق حقیقی که تمیر به آن اشاره می کند خداوند همان معشوق است. بعد از اینکه مولانا این راه رسیدن به دانش حقیقی را که از شور و خلصه می آید کشف کرد به سرودن مجموعی از اشعار به نام دیوان شمس تبریزی پرداخت که خطاب به استاد محبوب شمس است همکنون گزیده ای از این اشعار را می شنویم بربند چشم دعوی بکشای چشم معنی یک دمز خود نهان شو او را ایان ببینی ای نانهاد گامی در راه نامرادی بیرنج گنج وحدت کی رایگان ببینی هی های شمس تبریز خاموش باش ناطق تا جان خیشتن را زان شادمان ببینی اشعار فسیح مولانا همیشه خاننده را به سمتی هدایت می کند تا به جستجوی وصلی شورانگیز با خدا بپردازد با این وجود طبع شاعرانه او سبب منیت او نمی شد He says, oh well, I write poetry because that's what people want to hear 
-huh. or I convey poetry or I use poetry uh -huh. because that's the path of least resistance. Uh -huh. And when a true teacher uh, has disciples, what he wants to do is to change their hearts. Uh -huh. So he will use the path of least resistance. If it's parables, if it's stories, if it's images, allegories, myths, uh, whatever will entice the listener to pay attention and to learn, that's what he will use. The ecstatic poetry certainly came later. Uh -huh. And it is said that he actually didn't write it himself. It was dictated when he was in a state of ecstatic trance. Uh -huh. And it just came through him. آثار مولانا توسط مریدش حسام الدین چلبی و همچنین پسر، دوستان و شاگردانش تدوین و گردآوری شدند. اثر دیگر او به غیر از دیوان شمس تبریز مصنوی معنوی می باشد که دارای شش دفتر بزرگ و بیش از 25 هزار بیت است. این اشعار بیان کننده عشق به پروردگار، روح منزه، آگاهی برتر، one of the most famous poems, which is Listen. Rumi gives us the injunction, listen to the sound of the flute. Listen to its plaintive notes. For ever since it was cut off from the reed bed, it has been telling the tale of separation. Now this is very interesting because the flute that he's talking about is what's called the ney. And the ney is made from bamboo. Mm -hmm. And the ney has nine apertures, just like the physical human being. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us, listen to the sound of the flute, meaning listen to your own song. Listen to your inner tale. And that tale is the tale of longing. Longing for what? Longing for the nectar, longing for the elixir, God's word of God's teachings. Mm -hmm. So those are the first words and basically the entire Masnavi is about listening, about opening up our hearts, opening up our ears, opening up our souls to the higher teachings. Mm -hmm. بعد از شعر بشنو از نی تمیر چندین گزیده دیگر از آثار مولانا را با همراهی موسیقی عمر فاروق تکبیلک اجرا نمود. آقای تکبیلک، استادی هنرمند و برجسته که جوایزی را از آن خود ساخته است، در جوانی به عنوان نوازندهی برتر در ترکیه اشتناخته شده بود. او به اروپا، استرالیا و آمریکا سفر نموده و اینک یکی از بهترین نوازندگان سازهای موسیقی خاورمیانه محسوب می شود. Listen to the sound of the flute. Listen to its plaintive notes. For ever since it was cut off from the reed bed, it has been telling the tale of separation. I want a heart torn by separation that I may unfold to such a one the pain of love. The fire of love is entangled in the reed flute as the fervor of wine is in the sound. That sound is a friend to all lovers who yearn to tear away the veil. The one who secretly hears this is senseless. All day and night, music, such a pure, hollow sound, a quiet, bright reed song. If it fades, we fade. Love has everyone by the ear, dragging us back by secret ways. I never knew that God, too, has such longing for us. You see, friends, it is through longing that God invites us back to our inner home. 
از تمیر و عمر فاروق تکبیلک از اینکه با اجرای برنامه های هنری زیبایشان روح مولانا را زنده نگاه می دارند، تشکر و قدردانی می کنیم. امید است که پیام جاودان عشق به خدا همانطور که مولانا جلال الدین محمد بلخی تعلیم می دادند به اعماق وجود ما نفوذ کند. سیدی طریق قلب تمیر در این سایت قابل دسترس است. www.rumi-wayoftheheart.com سیدی های موسیقی عمر فاروق تکبیلک در این سایت قابل دسترس هستند. www.omarfaruktekbilek.com بینندگان مهربان از اینکه امروز ما را در برنامه من همراهی کردید سپاس گذاریم. برنامه بعدی کلام حکمت است که بعد از اخبار قابل توجه از سپریم مست تلویزیون پخش می شود. امیدوار این روزهایتان سرشار از آرامش و خورسندی باشد. Loving viewers, thank you for joining us today on our program. Words of Wisdom is up next of the Northworthy News here on Supreme Master Television. May your days be filled with peace and contentment. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee.